The iconic organ plays to usher in the home team's goals, and the fans love to count them up here in St. Louis for these Blues. Hi, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight, even though it's a team sport and people are seated in the stands right now, thrilled to watch a team play another team, they are thinking about one particular player. It's hard not to think about this guy because he's so dominant on the ice. But what's it like to be him? Well, you know the responsibility, Doc, and that comes with a burden, so to speak. But when you talk to him, he certainly relishes in the role that he has. And whether you're a star player or a role player, you have to do two things. You have to accept and execute, and he's able to do it all regardless of the stage. Tarasenko's ability to execute is what separates him from a lot of players in this league, Doc. People know when he is on the ice. If they are in this building or watching at home, you've got to keep your eyes on him all the time because he has the ability to do something that a lot of players in this league can't. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Jake Allen, in his first three full seasons with the Blues, increased his number of games played and victories. Connor Hellebach, Michigan-born, played for a team called the Odessa Jackalopes and later at University of Massachusetts Lowell, where he won the Mike Richter Award as college hockey's top goalie. These two teams are ready to play, and we're ready to watch. O'Reilly's ready for the opening faceoff for the Blues. Shifley's opposite him for Winnipeg. Trying to go to Tarasenko. Breaks free. He scores! They break the ice early here with the game's first goal. Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. Blues strike first. Just like the coach drew it up, get off to a good start. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Ryan O'Reilly, assisted by number 91, Vladimir Tarasenko, and by number Propelled to O'Reilly. Let's it go. Handled with the stick. Two seconds. Crosses that line by himself. Score! One is tied. Well, that certainly changes the complexion of the game. That tying goal has changed everything about this one. A little over three minutes have been played in the first period. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. Jack's goal, scored by number 81, is able to move on in. Good work there in goal. And he holds on, and the whistle stops. Three minutes, 14 seconds. Allen's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. a solid face-off win. Twist one. He scores! A pair of goals by the same team. There's been a number of close chances here at either end as this continued tie game strung out. Now they've got the lead. We'll see where it takes us now. The Jets now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Jets goal scored by number 50. Gains that offensive line. Shoots one. Turn. They score! And they've tied the game up.
it's felt at various times like one team or the other would have a little bit of the upper hand. Doesn't matter anymore. We're back to 0-0. Zero, zero. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Leads that charge into the zone. Scooped up by Alex Petrangelo. Routine save. Six seconds. Solid clean win. Snapping a pass to Wheeler. Good place to shoot from. Why? Gathered up again by Alex Petrangelo. Just like shootout. Has a chance to make a play through the corner. Cut that pass in his own end. And he picks it up. Carries it on in from center. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Alone. Enormous save on a breakaway kingpin. Passing one off now to Shifley. Let's it go. Got it in his own end. And now it's directed to O'Reilly. Moving it to Schwartz. Man, oh man, what a hit. Oh, he had nowhere to go on that play. The Jets are skating it up at neutral ice. Made the save. Gains the zone. Solid work there by Schwartz. He got iron with that one. Got that pass in his own end. And he hammers one. Wonderful save. Pitching this one to Shen. It's dumped in. Let's a shot fly. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Directing that one to Line. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Save. Pitching it to Bozak. The Blues have it along the side at mid ice. Bounced off the boards to Cobb. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Routine one save, one. but a necessary one. one. Period. Chip to Bozak. Scorches one. Save. Looking to Cobb. And he shoots one. Save. 20 minutes are in the books, and we have some entries on the score sheet. It'll be intriguing to see whether the marksmen have even more confidence when the second period gets started. Hey, fans, a portion of tonight's proceeds will fund the... Period two is underway, and neither team has a big advantage yet. Even the score is even. It's all on his shoulders. Score! once you break a tie that you would sit back and try to protect the lead. I think you have to stay aggressive and play in the other end. St. Louis has grabbed the lead here by just a single goal. So let's see who wins this next faceoff and maybe a goal can come from it. St. Louis goal scored by number 91. The Jets love that along up the way. Assisted by number 27, Alex Petrangelo. The Blues win the draw. What's next? Can start the attack going in the zone. Tremendous hit. Tarasenko's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They've clearly got the target on him. And he lets it go. Got a piece of that one. 
and he dumps it in. Has it back deep. Fantastic poke check. The Jets with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Good save there. Pass attempt to Schwartz. What a tremendous hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Fires. That shot came from nowhere. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. In with it now. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Well, that one's going to rattle you around. You get hit with nowhere to lean against the boards. That one hurts. And he steps in. He is shut right off. Laid on to Little. Fires. Glove save. Nice. Shoots one. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Steps in from the neutral zone. One on one. He shuts it right down. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Puck grab. They're ready to go. Hit the post on the outside. And there's another. Puck is thrown to Line. On to Kopp. And he steps across the line. Shoots. He wears that glove for a reason, show off. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Just under six minutes remaining here in the period. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. Look out, the hits are coming. Points it. Fires a shot. Score! And the game is even. We came into the game, guys, thinking these teams were evenly matched. Now we've played some of this contest. And here we are, back at a stalemate. The Jets are terrific in getting this game tied up. And we still have playing time left in the second and all of the third. The Blues control from the neutral zone. Receives that pass from the other side. And a save! The Jets have it in the defensive zone. Steps across that line. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Whistle is blown. And now the penalty will be handed out. The Jets lose a man for two minutes for charging. You could skate to make the hit, but you must glide and then make contact. The Blues are going to get their first opportunity on the power play right now. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. Shot on. Made that stop. Good face-off win. A long scorcher. Great save. Trying to clear it here. He blocks it down and keeps it alive. Cranks one. And a save. Close in play. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Amazing reflexes. Wonderful stop. Trying to go to Schwartz. Has that point pass as well. Let's it go. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Great shot. Terrific shot, but a denial. And yet another save. How does he do that? Fires. Save. Forty minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer 
to the start of the third period and crunch time. Let's look at the shots on goal totals through the first two periods. 19 for St. Louis and 19 for Winnipeg. Fans, tonight the home team blimp is dropping $50 gift certificates. Myers' goal has knotted this up. We're at the end of the period and headed to intermission. Restaurants, Delmans has it all. What a tilt this has been. Game tied in the third period. Maybe it'll take overtime. Oh, what a hit that one was. Bufflin's not strictly a finesse player. He uses the body to his advantage quite frequently. Save there. Driving in from no man's land. And he shoots. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Goes back deep for it. Steals it in the attacking zone. A textbook stick save. And on top of that, another great stop. The pucks keep coming, and he turns them away. And so there is icing on this play. If you're going to score in a 2-1-1, -on -one, guys, you've got to attack much quicker than that. Easy save. Just a hair over five minutes play. Six goals in this game so far, divided in half. Makes that play deep. Snapping a pass to Wheeler. Puts one on, and a save. From the slaughter wrister, he missed the net. I expected him to at least get the puck on net from the slot, but that shot was way out. A great speed bump set up there. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. And he sends it to the net. Not too difficult a shot. The Blues are driving it from the wing. Skates it into the zone. Reads the play and keeps it. Quick wrister. Stick to some. Winnipeg's in possession now as they move up the wing. But ricocheted off the screen. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Goaltender pass brought ahead. Outstanding body contact. Oh, I like that one. That's a clean hit. Winnipeg's lugging it along in their own end, shifting gears. And he gains the zone. That hit somebody. St. Louis along the wing can play it ahead. A big, big hit. With a shot. Blocked. Dogged determination there by Buffalo. Passing one off now to Pareko. At least he protected his bulletin for the one-timer. Brings it in for an attack. Shoots. Got in front of another one. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. One minute left. Let's it go. Blockered away. It's frantic time. Under a minute to go. Now it's directed to Steen. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Great block, and he's able to just keep it working. Perfect receipt of the pass. Save. A little pass from his goalie here. Moving it to Shifley. Crosses that line. Blocker save. Gathered up again by Alex Steen. 
pitching this one to Dunn. Directing that one to Shifley. And a save. Winnipeg's in their own end and controlling play now. Sixty minutes solved nothing. They will dig down for more adrenaline because overtime is next. Hey kids, don't forget if you're Bufflin's hit was arguably the best in that period. A period that saw no goals. That's expected to change, but intermission is here. We have begun sudden death overtime. If no one scores in this next stretch, we'll be headed for a shootout. The Blues with a center ice face-off win. Gathered up by Alex Petrangelo. Back on his stick. Smart recovery by Buffman. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Score! The overtime winner! And the players spill over the boards to celebrate. And we have a winner from this hero in overtime. He gets in close to the net and fires it past the goaltender with a snapshot. Allen's glove hand lets him down here. He thinks he's going to catch this, but he doesn't. What a terrific game of hockey. Well played by now. Very tired players. A great time. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night all.